I'm going to delete my YouTube channel. Let me tell you why. My YouTube journey started in 2013 when I created the channel Nathan Johnson. The channel was mostly Minecraft. Uh, I didn't post frequently and worst of all, I was an eight year old squeaker. Then in 2016, I decided to delete all of my videos off of that channel and create a new channel called The Sports Squad. I first made it because my friends and I were all obsessed with wiffle ball and football and all sorts of sports videos and even trick shot videos. So then as our obsession went, we started making videos on wiffle ball. Then it also went into doing trick shot videos, Minecraft videos, then nerf videos, and a lot of random videos. Like what was I thinking when I posted brother vs brother part one? Who cares, right? No one cared at all. And the sad part was is I was gaining a lot of skills while making this YouTube channel. I was becoming a pretty dang good video editor. I was getting some good skills with Photoshop and thumbnail design. And I was getting very good at SEO optimization. And how did I utilize those talents? I just made a bunch of random videos. For example, I made videos about five nights at Carson's. <sighs> oh my God. For context, my friend's name is Carson and we liked Five Nights at Freddy's for about two weeks and we made videos about Five Nights at Carson's. Shout out to you, Carson, you're G. Then after that, it was more Nerf, then it was Roblox, then Clash of Clans. Then I made about 10 vlogs documenting my super interesting life of biking around a town with 2,000 people in it. <laughs> Vlog number four, that's right, number four. Then after that, it was more Minecraft. Then on to about two episodes of fidget spinners, like I mentioned before. Then I made probably 30 episodes on Farming Simulator. I know, surprising, I stuck with something for around three months. Then I did a lot of tutorials and reviews, and these reviews and tutorials were no nothing to relate to each other. It was just random garbage I found on the internet, like how to use Reddit. Yes, that's a video I made. And the worst part is, is that I posted over 300 videos. Yes, I utilized my sacred childhood years to make 300 YouTube videos. And my 12 year old self actually hit a few times in very specific niches where even to this day, I'm still making around $25 a month from these cool little videos. As you can see, I did a lot of different videos, but overall, Minecraft was probably, you know, at least 40% to 50% of my channel and that grew me to about 3000 subscribers. Then I decided to switch over to BMX and be obsessed with that for a few years. And during those few years, I made maybe 10 episodes on BMX and almost no Minecraft videos, which completely stunted the growth of my channel. And looking back on it now, that's right about the time where I should have just called it quits with YouTube. I, I wasn't making any good content. I might as well just stop. But I went ahead and kept going, and to this day, it's around 4,100 subscribers, and those last 1,100 subscribers came from NFL content. In the past year and a half, I've been obsessed with making NFL content, uh, just regarding the football season and stuff. I've uploaded around 50 videos, and it's never been consistent. This was the most dedicated I ever was, and I was hitting anywhere from one to 2,000 views consistently. So why did I stop making videos? Well, I suffer, well, suffer from this thing called shiny object syndrome. Basically what that means is I'll switch everything I do just based off of what I like in the moment or what I see other people succeeding with. For example, during the 2017 and 2018 fidget spinner craze, I was in fifth grade, no, sixth grade, and I spent all of my money on two fidget spinners that I had made two videos with, and I never made a fidget spinner video again, even though I dropped, you know, $20, $30 on nice fidget spinners. Shiny object syndrome was also a pretty big part of my business life. As some of you know, I run a decently successful video editing business, and that's how I can fund this arcade stuff. Even though I was in high school making pretty dang good money for my age, I fell to shiny object syndrome once again and I started looking at things like drop shipping, affiliate marketing, and like YouTube automation and all sorts of stuff like that. And 
I would switch up what I'm doing, I would start focusing a ton of time on affiliate marketing and it would fail and guess what? I would go on to the next thing. And after failing with a lot of businesses, I would then slap myself back to reality and focus on what's actually making me money, which is my video editing business. Now back to the YouTube side of things. I'm gonna be honest, this whole vending and claw machine business was just another case of shiny object syndrome. For years, I would see YouTubers like Quick Play and Extreme Vending and Galaxy Games 843. I would see them pulling stacks of cash out of their claw machines. And since I had a decent chunk of money laying around for my video editing business, I decided that this would be a pretty good investment and that I'm gonna go all for it. Then I realized I have all these machines, I might as well make YouTube videos on them, basically asset content, you know, everyone can make a Fortnite video, but in my mind, if I have all these machines, then I differ from all these other YouTubers. I have something that a lot of people don't have, and I thought it'd be a pretty good content idea. Which has led me to make this channel that you're watching right now. It's pretty obvious that if I keep switching topics and video ideas that it's never gonna succeed, and that's why I'm making this video today. So here's what I'm going to do. This channel is all or nothing. On January 1st of 2025, I'm going to delete this channel, unless I hit a massive set of requirements. The first requirement is that I need to make 52 videos in this one year, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's one video per week. And once again, that doesn't sound like a lot, but never once in my life have I ever stayed consistent to a channel for that long of a period of time. And I don't think I've ever uploaded 52 videos in a year. And since this is finally all or nothing, I can't afford to take these months off anymore. I need to do it right now and I need to take action. I need to do this this entire year. Now the second requirement is I need to hit 70 shorts, which that should be a little easier to do since these videos that I make, I can pull one or two shorts out of each of them. So that should be a relatively easy requirement to hit. Now the third requirement is that I need to upload 12 episodes in my Vending in Arc podcast which is a podcast that I started where I interview all sorts of people in the industry now these 12 episodes will count into the 52 episode goal and as of right now I've uploaded two podcasts and I think this is going to be the eighth video maybe the seventh video but so far the year is going pretty well but that can end very quickly if I have another shiny object moment now the fourth requirement is that I need to be monetized by January 1st of next year now even if I hit the 52 ep upload goal there's no point of running a channel that's not generating income. I honestly have no idea if I'm even going to be able to hit all of these goals, but I can say it is a massive relief. One way will mean I won't ever have to worry about making content like this ever again. I mean, this video is probably gonna take me four hours to edit and a couple hours to film. But on the flip side of things, if I'm successful, I'm going to be making money on YouTube and spending my time wisely. So I guess I'm really excited just to see what this year will bring. I'm going to try my 100% best to make videos that inform you as well as entertain you. As much as I love the channel Quick Play, and not to diss on them at all, but their videos are so keyed towards kids and like basically just saying, here's a big stack of money. And I know that they have courses and stuff and but that, that stuff costs money, they have books. They're really good on the information part, but I personally just wanna make a channel that the entire channel is, yes, showing the money, but also going over how I got that money in my hand. I wanna make videos on how to land locations, and in a few years from now, I don't know where I'm gonna be. Maybe I'm gonna be in real estate, maybe I'm gonna own a bar, maybe I'm gonna own a laundromat. I wanna document this entire process and you know, help fund this process by using YouTube to make a few extra dollars on the back end. And no, I'm not just doing YouTube for the dollars. I really do wanna help people. I know when I was in middle school, me and my friend Marcus, he's in some of the videos, we would sit there in class and we would watch Quick Play as one of them, but we'd, we'd watch other YouTubers as well and we'd see them collecting. We're like, how can we do this? This looks like so much fun. And I, I truly just, I wanna educate younger people, I mean, I'm young, but <laughs> I wanna educate younger people on how they can acquire these locations and build their businesses. And, even, and besides educating younger people, too many people are dropping thousands of dollars on courses. I'm not sure how much Quick Plays is, but I'm sure it's over $100, maybe $50 at the least. But people are dropping so much money on these when there's a lot of free information 
but then most channels don't actually have like an entire channel based around information. Usually it's just one video every once in a while, but I want to make the entire channel just information based, pretty much the entire thing. Anyways, rant over. I want to make videos to inspire people and I hope you guys will come along for the ride with me as I document my journey and help you guys along the way. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.